stand it up. Yes. You're posting just a little bit early. You're getting excited, like you're getting a little amped up and juiced. Yeah. yeah. Bring it down. Just okay. bring it down just a little bit. How feel? Pretty good. Feel pretty good? Yeah. Shoulders feel open? A little bit more, You're finishing that round off so the shoulders are open. Okay. Make sure that front finishes right and make sure where the arms, the yeah, the round off finishes, the arms are elevated on the board so they're getting down quick. Energy and effort, right? That's what we gotta bring, all right? And that includes everybody in this circle, all right? Let's bring the heat, let's go. It's fast and furious. I mean, you are running dead sprint at a table that's not gonna move. You're gonna hit it as hard as you can. You're gonna fly high and you're gonna try to land. It's, it's a game of inches. If one thing is just a little bit off, the rest of it can be off. There you go. That was better. That was better. The call came to come back home and work for Jay, and uh, it was an opportunity that we couldn't pass up. Working for Jay he feels like home. Uh, he, he's family to us and a big part of our lives. He's been a mentor for us in our journey in coaching. And um, so come, I say coming home because it's coming home to work for Jay. Uh, Georgia is home for me, um, but Louisiana definitely feels like home. Come on, Hay. Patient. Press, press. I think you'll see with very talented individuals, a lot of times things come easy. Um, and so when you recruit those athletes, when they get into college and things get a little bit tougher, they get in the team environment, sometimes uh, it doesn't work out as well. Um, so you wanna find someone who's got the balance between talent and character. Um, there's that quote that, you know, talent sets the floor and character sets the ceiling as far as where you're gonna go. So I think as a staff, I think that's what we try to look for in the recruits. I think. Um, Jay's done a phenomenal job with that, and I think in the next couple of years you'll see just it, it continue to grow. What were you counting? I count. I'm gonna do a dance routine. I gotta count the people, and then that is what. Well, are you counting everything in the gym right now? Like you're counting mats and no? What they do is is nothing short of incredible. So. Uh, when they come in the gym every single day, it can get monotonous because you're doing it throughout the fall and we have such a long lead up period to when you get to, you know, season, um, that having fun in the gym is what breaks up kind of the, the monotony of it, right? And you're working hard every single day, but if you're not having fun, then eventually you're gonna burn out. And so trying to keep it fun, trying to keep it light um, for these girls is very important to us so that they can kind of keep their edge and you know, come in the gym and feel fresh every single day and not feel like this is something that, you know, is a never-ending cycle.